Hello there, my name is George Hurst. In this video, we will show you how to make a set of very durable saddlebags for your motorcycle. The set of bags we will make in this video will have a hand-carved western design, but the beauty of making your own is that you can make them any way you want with any design or any color or any finish. The first thing we need to do is create a tracing pattern. I'd like to do that with tracing film. As I am making my pattern uh, for tracing, I uh, have a few things I'd like to point out. I have decided to do the five inch gusset, which means that this line here will be the line for my cutting. Now you'll notice that the tooling pattern is back here now what I have done I have traced this then I have moved it up as you can see to fit the longer flap now also you'll notice that uh, there are holes running all the way around if you are going to lace it it's necessary to punch those holes all the way around however if you're just going to stitch it it's not necessary to punch all those holes. So I am going to stitch it. So I'm going to only start my hole punching here where it will fit to the front. You'll notice on the pattern there are some indications where to start your hole punching. Here are the gusset patterns. One for a five inch wide gusset and one for a three inch wide gusset. Now you'll notice they're quite long and uh, this is actually only one half of the pattern. So when we make our tracing, we will make just one half, but then when we cut the leather, we will flip it and make it uh, twice as long as the pattern is. All of the other parts of the patterns are exactly the size that they should be. Whenever I can, I use a straight edge to draw my lines and then on the curves I just very carefully trace the curves. Now, this particular gusset pattern will only be one half the size of the gusset. And down here at the other end, I will put a few marks and then I will draw a dotted line The dotted line will indicate to me that this is a fold where we will trace one half of it, turn it 180 degrees, and then trace the other half. After we get all of the straight lines drawn, we can start marking for our stitching holes. It is now time to transfer our pattern onto the leather since we have all of our pattern pieces created. And uh, to do that, I like to dampen my leather. And it uh, doesn't have to be real wet now just uh, because all we're going to do is transfer the pattern so we can cut this leather to the proper shape. So we'll just dampen it lightly, making sure we get it pretty even all over. Now we'll set it aside for a minute or two to allow the water to soak in. While we are waiting for the water to soak in a little bit, we can place our pattern. Now I like to 
use these large paper clips as you see here to clip my pattern in place. I will use those clips at the top as you can see here and uh, now I'm ready to do my tracing. just a matter of applying pressure and after you do part of it pick it up to see how it's working and it's working just fine so I will continue tracing. I will also trace the cutouts that you see here so that I get those in the right position. And there's another hole here for an attaching strap. And then for some stitching holes, I'll just use the point of my stylus and press, as you can see here. This will be all we need for the positioning of our stitching holes. We will do this to all of our parts, except for the strap goods, which we will show you a special way to make your keepers and the heavy straps that hold the bag in place. It is now time to uh, cut out our pieces. Be very careful as you cut. This is heavy leather, so it may be necessary to make more than one pass. So make sure you stay in the original cut and don't be in a hurry. Take your time and don't use any more pressure than you need to. As we continue with our uh, connector strap, we need to punch a few holes here to uh, make a slot. Now. These can be done one of two ways. You can punch two holes, as I'm doing here, or you can use a one and a half inch slot punch or oblong punch. To do it this way, you need to punch the two holes and then carefully align a straight edge along one edge of the two holes, as you can see. And we go to the other side of the holes and do the same thing. Then we will very carefully cut out these pieces of leather. And we have a nice slot. As I said before, you can do the same thing to all your slots or you can use a one and a half inch oblong punch. As indicated on the pattern, we'll need to punch some holes for our safety strap attachment. In this case, I'm punching the size large enough to accommodate the grommet that I'm planning to put in there. For my stitching, I'm going to use a 5 64th round drive punch and I'm punching it exactly on the marks that I marked. For our connector strap, after we have punched all the holes, we'll use a number three edge beveler and we will bevel the edges all the way around, top and bottom.
After we have done our edge beveling, we'll take a sponge and lightly dampen the edge all the way around. And then we will take our edge slicker and we will slick the edges all the way around. I'm now working on the uh, piece that's the front, the top, and the back. This is a rather large piece. And uh, 